For years, educators have been introducing new technologies into both pedagogy and the physical learning environment. And as technology has continued to advance, society has become increasingly reliant upon technology for everyday life. This reliance is expected to grow stronger and more deeply with time. Therefore, it is more important than ever that educators and educational institutions embrace technology in the craft of teaching and the mission of learning. In Franklin Pierce Schools, we've been incorporating technology in the classroom for decades. But in the last few years, we have worked hard to integrate rapidly changing technology into the very fabric of teaching and learning. In 2010, a diverse group of stakeholders came together to establish a 20-year capital projects vision for the school district. One of the outcomes of this planning effort was a commitment to ensure that our facilities could accommodate a one-to-one -one computing device ratio for teachers and students. On average, our schools are over 50 years old before today's technology was even conceived. So accomplishing this commitment would take years of planning and implementation. In 2011, every teacher was provided a district-issued laptop. In 2012, taxpayers approved a $27.5 million capital levy that allowed the district to install a learning wall in every classroom. Learning walls include audio enhancements with microphones, a projector, a screen, and easy connectivity with laptops, tablets, document cameras, and other devices. In 2013, the district upgraded its wide area network to provide two gigabytes per second internet speed to all schools. And in 2014, the district won a grant provided by the Apple Corporation that will allow the 450 students at James Sales Elementary to pilot a one-to-one -one device program. If the effort proves successful, the district plans to expand the project providing a tablet to all 7,800 students in the district. So, while we are not fully complete, we are well on our way, and the early results are promising. My name is Sally Wheeler, and I'm a fourth grade teacher here at Midland Elementary. I am very excited about the new Learning Wild technology we have here at Midland. I find that it has improved the learning accessibility for our students with socioeconomic challenges as well as those with learning disabilities. I'm finding that as a teacher I'm much more mobile in my classroom. I'm able to pick up my yoga and my document camera, walk to a student desk, set it down, take a picture or watch a student doing their work. They can talk about it and show the class. With the new audio system, having the microphone around my neck allows my voice to be evenly projected throughout the classroom. That is a wonderful advantage for students throughout the room to be more connected to me, even if I'm in the far corner. Um, I find that having the mic system for the students to use, the other children are highly engaged in what their classmates are saying, and they are eager to participate. The programs on the computer we get to use are MegaMath, Think Central, Bing, Star, Microsoft Word, and all different learning sites. We get to use the document camera to show the students our work, and we get to use the microphones to tell the other students about our work and how we solved it. Everybody pick up your While we are happy with the early and promising results, this effort requires significant capital investment and a well-planned implementation. Excellent. I'm Lisa Klumpar. I'm the IT director for Franklin Pierce Schools since 2007. The tools that we provided the teachers are the tablets that um, 
could um, reach out to uh, using online programs. And the audio system that was also put in place by the learning wall um, could be um, part of that engagement with the students. So we have teachers that are going into online programs that um, are able to engage the students by providing that tablet to them and be able to um, use that and project that wirelessly in that classroom and engaging those students. We need to make sure that all the pieces in the parts of the implementation are built off of the previous parts and it took careful planning and budgeting. Hi, I'm Frank Ewens, superintendent of the Franklin Pierce School District. Uh, I've been in education for the last 37 years and I've been uh, superintendent of Franklin Pierce School District for the past eight. High quality instruction is the underpinning of our success with our students. And it's only enhanced by our uh, ability to offer the latest and greatest technology um, that uh, provides the opportunity for greater success for our kids in the future. So far, so good. While Franklin Pierce School still has much work to do to refine and hone these efforts, we are realizing a commitment that we know is vital. Systemic integration of educational technology into the classroom that prepares students for success in a technological world. <laughs>